briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1995, the Arizona Supreme Court heard the case of State v. Granis, which centered around the admissibility of former testimony as evidence. David Wayne Granis and Daniel Ethan Webster were convicted of premeditated first-degree murder, theft, and trafficking in stolen property after a joint trial in Pima County Superior Court. However, their convictions and death sentences were later appealed due to the trial court's admission of irrelevant and prejudicial evidence. Specifically, the court found that pornographic photographs were improperly admitted, the instruction on deadly force was incorrect, and a telephonic deposition was not in compliance with the rules. As a result, the Arizona Supreme Court reversed Granis and Webster's convictions and death sentences, ordering a retrial. In determining that the trial court erred, the Arizona Supreme Court remanded the cases of Granis and Webster for retrial and instructed the lower court to properly admit evidence and provide correct legal instructions. This decision underscored the importance of following procedural rules and ensuring a fair trial for defendants. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.